All right, so this is Royale, Chicago, 23, dental assistant, Virgo, no kids. What kind of man are you looking for, boo? Stop moving, honey. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Um, I'm looking for a man that's family-oriented, a uh, hard worker. I need a man that's good with their hands. Like, the man I've been dealing with, is like, they can't even, like, like hang a picture like what's going on so that's a big thing for me um i need somebody that's honest a good listener um that's just a, just a few so here we are she says she want a resourceful man and and sometimes men get on here and they say they want feminine women and they want this and they that and we say it all the time you have forfeited this experience, sister. I need a man good with their hands. I need a man that can build stuff, do all these wonderful things. What do he want, Walker? What do he want, Mr. Walker? I can only assure you that a man, the man that she desires, she want a man that's good with his hands, and she being light with it. She want a man, you know what she want. She want a man that can repair a house, build a car, a dying breed, this I can assure you. What do that man want? To hell what he wants. I'm going to tell you what he needs. Inspiration. <laughs> you want that man to go out there and do what the majority of the world won't do, the majority of men won't do. You want all this. He needs to be inspired. You must dig deep into your femininity, your feminine power, and get it out this man. Create the muse effect, as Kevin would always say. A man look to his own for inspiration. When he look at your big, blowed out self, is he inspired to be greater? No. That y'all got to understand that. There's nothing more inspiring than a fit, feminine woman. And with her face all beat, the eyelashes, the ball cap, this is your, this is your boss chicken training. She only 23. I ain't going to say only, but y'all think she a baby at 23 when she about ready to be married at the time. And here we go. This is this is y'all prototype, prototype baby boss chick, and she already, she already fallen victim to the hoodoo. She big, you can tell by her face. Ladies, do yourself a favor, do yourself some justice in twenty twenty three, and lose that weight. Y'all want to go on y'all revenge tour? Lose the weight. All oh, y'all simply stop eating. Stop eating. This woman twenty three. This ain't even funny. She's twenty three. She look like she got a pretty face, but she's shooting herself in the foot. Lose that weight. The man you want, the man that can fix a house, he don't want no fat woman. You are not going to inspire him to build that house or repair that house or fix that car or conquer the world. No, that is not inspiring. Your man should not be walking down the street with you. And every other woman that's fit, he look at, he, his, his flesh desires that because he can't get it at home. Listen to me. Your man's flesh should not be desiring other women so easily because he can't get what his flesh desires out of you. It's simply because you're too big. you simply too big. Y'all got to, y'all must start chopping up this damn elephant in the room and dispose of it because y'all like, can't see it. And it's getting, it's getting, it's getting old. You can't be big on a dating show talking about you want a man like this or can't figure out why you can't find a man. Got to stop. You said that he has to be good with his hands? Yes. So, like, do you mean putting things together in the house? Putting things together, um, know how to change a tire. I mean, the simple things. They don't know how to do nothing nowadays. Real okay, quick, two okay. things is true. All right. All right? I'm not going to act like, we ain't going to say her act like she just talk all kind of wild. Nope. All right. Men really don't know, ain't resourceful nowadays and can't do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But as always, I think that has always been the case. We just didn't mm -hmm. always have the internet and it wasn't magnified the way it is. And mm -hmm. every woman didn't get said, man, that you speaking of, quit acting like y'all all deserve this man. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, you don't because he wants something. Man. Yeah, she, yeah, she ain't talking too crazy. A lot of guys are not resourceful and, and handy and handy with their hands. That's true nowadays, uh, as the world is more relying on technology and things of the sort. But, you know, you want this. So here we are. You want this uh, unique and rare individual. 
we're going to keep asking it. What does this rare and unique individual want? Does he want your big self? You, you, she could, it's safe to say, listen, it's safe to say she would not be on this show only if she was not so big. The software a little tainted, so, but we, ain't, we, we can't even, don't you understand? We can't even get to the software. Can't even get there. You too big. You don't pass the physical test. You don't. A man must first like what he see. Tell my wife all the time. When I, I looked at you, I said, okay, I like what I see. Now I'll talk to you because at first I got to like what I'm looking at. Otherwise, I'm not even going to dress you. So don't you understand? Y'all get so big, y'all make yourself invisible to a good man. You make yourself invisible because what does that obsessive weight indicate? Lack of discipline. And a purpose-driven man must have discipline. Can't I can't have discipline. And my significant other, my my partner, as y'all like to put it, ain't no partners over here. But y'all want y'all partner to be, you know, just as undisciplined or, you know, you're disciplined and then your partner is undisciplined. That can never work. But y'all ladies like to think it can. Y'all think y'all can have some some dude built like the rock and y'all built like the penguin. Y'all tripping. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Break this for you. Um, let's see. Deal breakers. No liars. Um, too many kids. I can't do too many kids. I don't have any kids. Really, I don't. I know you're gonna ask this question, but really, I don't want. I want a man with no kids for real. But I could take one. Um, okay. deal breaker. Let's see what else. <clears throat> let's see. We're gonna keep going. All right, what's the age range? Um, between ages thirty, no, I'll say twenty-eight, twenty-eight and like thirty-five. Okay, does he have to live in Chicago? No, he doesn't. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, no, just just be able to like take care of himself and um, don't ask me for no money, like. I'll ask you for the money. Okay. Royale, <laughs> Chicago, 23. Let's do the Kendra cam. <laughs> they say I'm looking for a handyman. <laughs> like, y'all don't even know how to do nothing. That's my. Okay, we see this body, girl. You see me. You oh, we... see me. Can't miss you. We really can't miss you, to be honest. So uh, I guess two things are true. We do see you. I don't think it is. It's not as grand as you think. It ain't what you think. It ain't what you think. I promise you it ain't. She didn't do no spin. Y'all got to understand when the insecurity start to pour out of y'all. Some crazy. She completely covered all over. The only thing she got exposed. And her shirt is made just to, just to show her cleavage right there. She won't spin around because she ain't got no butt. Otherwise, she would have spent around and probably start twerking. Y'all got to understand. Y'all got to understand. A real man is going to observe heavily because I'm looking to be invested in you. You understand? I'm about to invest time, resources, blood, sweat, tears into this. And this is the best you got? Come on, man. Come on. Like you no. said, that, that's that hoodoo body. It's undisciplined. Yes. Like I said, you ain't got no kids. You ain't got no curves. There I we go. You got curves. I guess is a is the belly a curve? Is that I, a never, you, I never touch on that, Gavin. Yet you, you got no kids. Because very seldomly do we get anyone up here without any kids, to be fair. But you got no kids. This is blasphemous. You got no reason to be so big. What's your excuse? Hereditary? Yeah, you go, that's what y'all go say. Y'all say hereditary. Yeah. Hi, Roy. Unless it's some <laughs> medical, which I doubt. Let's get a disclaimer. Yeah, seriously, unless it's some medical. But let's let's be clear. A lot of this obesity is due to a lack of knowledge and understanding of your body. You simply got to stop eating. Y'all must push Push away from the table. Deny y'all. So that's discipline. Say no. It takes a lot of discipline to have resources and means. And like, you know what? I'm not going to buy that. I'm not going to eat that. 
You got to practice some restraint. Y'all are crazy. You know, these uh, today's modern woman is quick to tell the man, you know, control yourself, you know, be monogamous. But y'all can't even stop eating. Y'all simply can't put that fork down and say, you know what? I'm doing it for me, my husband, because I know he like it. I know he like it when I'm tight. I see how he treat me. I know how he do me. Y'all refuse to acknowledge just the cold, hard truth and reality of this. This poor woman is cheating herself out of a husband because she's only 23 simply because she's too big. Talking about you see me, you see me. Got this weave on. The nug, nug, bat symbol has been displayed. She ready. She ready. Thank you. Okay. What was your last relationship, boo? Honestly, I haven't even really been in a real relationship. I was in like one of those little kitty relationships like, oh, that's my boyfriend, but it ain't, it ain't, it never was nothing like for real. All right, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, I'm, I'm not gonna answer that one. I'm gonna keep that one on the, on the low. Okay. Why see, you the fact that, you know, she said, oh, I've never been in a relationship for real, just, you know, boyfriends and stuff. She's only 23. That that can fly. That's that's not a bad thing. Okay. Got to respect that you you younger. You don't really have too many serious relationships. That sounds good. But then you turn around and say, ladies, I'm trying to tell you something. It's always a red flag whenever you say you're going to pass. Whenever you, whenever Kendra asked y'all when the last time y'all was intimate. What if you was proud of that of that time, you would simply say, oh, it's been a year, it's been six months, you know. But the fact that y'all gonna pass, a man instantly gonna think it was either earlier today or last night. I'm sorry. That's that's how men think. I'm like, oh, are you pass on that answer? I thought you was fucking last night. Or they can't lie about it, right? So we live in an age today, here we are, because it goes deeper. Okay. You can simply sit here and cap, right? Kendra, by one last time you was intimate, she can say, Oh, it's been eight months. But if Nug Nug know he slept with you two nights ago, Nug Nug will simply take this footage and make a TikTok out of it <laughs> and expose you. Like they, they are breaching themselves. For, so nowadays you can't even lie because people will simply expose you because they got receipts. Nug Nug bite. He will make a TikTok out of you saying that, matching the text messages and the video recordings that he got and all the while. <laughs> and they'd be like, two, eight months, cat. You see what I'm saying? You won't get exposed for lying nowadays, which is good. Yes. Uh, yes, that's a good thing. It is. And and there you go. So the fact that they can't lie, they're just going to say pass. You pleading the fifth. Pleading the fifth is always suspicious, don't you see? Always suspicious. Um, I'm, I'm not going to answer that one. I'm going to keep that one on the, on the low. Okay. Why do you think you're single, honey? Uh, I think I'm single only because I'm not settling for anybody. Like, I'm just not doing that. Um. And I just feel like I really know my worth. So if you come my way and you're not talking the right stuff, I ain't, I'm I'm moving along. Okay. And she ain't settling. She knows her worth. All right, them her words, not mine. She ain't settling. That's the key word of the 2020s. So for the last couple of years, even going into this year, I hear a number of women saying, "I will." I don't hear women saying they'd rather kick the bucket alone before they settle. Mm -hmm. So. This is a thing. I understand, y'all. What is settling? How? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are, <laughs> Mr. Big Shot? Real shit. Is it really settling? Or are you simply accepting what's available to you? Are you simply are you simply standing in y'all lane? Y'all gotta stop saying y'all settling. I believe we addressed it before. A man shall never come here and say he's settled. Because he know. <laughs> He simply got what was available to him. If there was something greater, he would have gotten that. There is no settling. She knows her worth. She knows her worth. Yeah, I bet she do. You attract what you are. She knows her worth. <laughs> I think I should better sell some of my jewelry for $20,000 a piece right now. But that just ain't the truth. I know my worth too. But I ain't dumb enough to go out into a market and say, hey, <laughs> look at this. Go. There you go. No, you can think it's all feels. They feel they know they worth. That's how they all start out. I feel, I feel. No, there is no settling, ladies and gentlemen. Stop that for 2023. Kill that. There is no settling. You simply 
attract who you are and you get your greatest option as we covered the video of a woman as we uh talked about as we covered uh, one of kevin samuel's videos a woman will simply level up on you so y'all get what y'all can get 100 percent of the time so stop that settling there is no settling you match you match this guy trust me otherwise y'all why, why these bum why these bums be in my inbox why these dusties be hollering at me because mm -hmm. and a man know his lane we had guys here a few a while back and i call cap on it because like we said if you see a beautiful woman like a carrie hilson or something walking down the street nug nug is not gonna hear a cat call or some bull uh -huh. but he ain't gonna run up on her and seriously approach her because he know he this is out of his league so when y'all acting like these men are hollering at y'all that are beneath y'all that's cap they know they could they smell it nug nug like i know I know she. It's something about you that's putting it out there. Yes. The signal out. Nug nug. He would only approach if he got the signal. And, and a lot of times it's y'all wait. He he simply look at y'all, and that's the thing. Nug nug can smell y'all insecurities too. It's a double edged sword with these insecurities. You know, a individual that has dealt with his can smell it, and a motherfucker that tend to tend to take advantage of your insecurities can smell them too. And nug nug only coming to take advantage. That's why y'all be saying y'all settling. Y'all really desperate obese blown out and y'all software bad and all y'all qualifies or got kids let's throw that in there and like all said, got kids. Ob either obese or you got three or four kids and then with that asterisk on your record you would say i'm settling because you don't understand how the market works there you go y'all be having three four kids somehow between government benefits and some hustle y'all got whatever job and and, and uh, child support y'all be these women be bringing in over a hundred thousand dollars a year with a total benefits package from the baby daddies and the government and whatever job they got. They be, they be bringing in six figures with this whole package. That's why they think they settling. Cause they're like, Oh, I know all of the resources I got from all these different places. So I think I'm a six figure chick. <laughs> no, you simply taking advantage of a system and it, and you have created your own state of illusion. Now you must lay in it. Cause you say everything. Oh, my bills always pay. I know how y'all move. My bills always pay. Got a car, this and that, yada yada. I'm I I need me a top high value man. No, you create that state of illusion. You fell victim to your own tricks. Would a guy be lucky to be with you? A guy would be lucky to be with me because I'm young. I got all I got my own everything. Um, I got goals. Um I can cook. Like I feel like I'm real like motherly. Like I um I feel like I, I would know how to take care of my man. Um hard worker, fun. It's definitely gonna be good laughs for sure. <laughs> um so yeah. I'll tell you what. Let's ain't gonna come down too harsh. Like you said, she's twenty three. It no kids, she ain't at the end of the road. There is a man out there for even her current condition with the software and all. He ain't going to look how she imagined. And that's the problem. Y'all got these fantasies and fascinations in y'all mind that she think he going to look a certain way. And that ain't going to be the case. But there is a man for her. I ain't. We ain't saying she can't find a man. Be happy. Oh, like she said, a good time, whatever, whatever. But mm -hmm. he, and he may be good with his hands. But like I said, he ain't going to be what she think. There you go. So, I so tell will, you. She, will she honor and respect that man? Here we go. She's only time is this is one of the first times where time is actually on one of these uh post sister sides. She's 23. All whenever this was whenever this was filmed. So here we go. All 2023. This sister need to spend in the nearest gym. And she is she is primed for for revenge tour. She's only 23 with no kids. It's really only up from here. Lose the weight, get yourself together, eat right. Uh, Eat right by 2024. You got a whole, you can have a whole situation if she hunkered down. Just hunkered down, get herself together. She unstoppable. Don't y'all get it? Where does it start? In the gym, there is you. I only assure you. Because I'm telling you right now, if she lost that weight, her whole facial structure going to change. Talk to me, like man. She's a totally different woman. She already light skinned. Let's call it what it is. She already got the light skin privilege. Uh -huh. That's the thing. <laughs> 
So uh-huh. if she would cross the way and her face would slim down. She would get she, her market would open up like crazy. Let's 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 say she two fifty. She go to the gym at two fifty and she start working her way down. Guys go to the gym, you know, um, religiously too. So this guy gonna keep saying her in this gym and he gonna be okay. He gonna watch the progress. Y'all don't understand. Showing that discipline, that's going to eliminate Nug Nug. Nug Nug ain't going to sit there and watch you get on your purpose and start losing weight. That's going to deter him because you're starting to kill insecurities. Don't you get it? Losing that weight is a is a huge Nug Nug deterrent. It ain't going to completely get rid of Nug Nug, but it's a hell of a deterrent. Go to the gym religiously and get yourself together. 2024, she could be sitting here replaying this video laughing at us if she do it right but she got hope she actually got hope a word i like to use she got hope it's only hope because she got to put in the work and it's a lot of work i was gonna say not laughing at us she can come back and thank us she said watch your video i took your advice because we ain't poking fun we are giving criticism constructive criticism and advice so she can say i took your advice and it worked out there you go i don't mind being wrong i don't think she gonna do what it takes I will not go ahead and I'm going to say that. I don't think she's going to do it because very few of y'all do. And that's that's the anxiety. It's it's all so simple. She got herself together. She don't want for nothing. As she just said, all her stuff is together. Kev would say it best. Go buy you a personal trainer and, and get into it. And you can have, you can almost, you can probably have everything you want. Just start with losing the weight. That's the beginning and damn near the end. 